Module 2.7, The System Builder, in Running Module, Part 1. Welcome to Module 2.7 of your Profound Professional Training Course. In this module, we will run through two areas of the in running module. Low in running prices and percentages, and X amount of times feature. Low in running prices and percentages. This session will show you how to research low in running prices and low in running percentages for horses running today. We are already in the system builder and we'll just size the screen so we can fit two lines of tabs on and hide the buttons down the left. And we wanted to research to start with low in running prices when horses have run lows of less than 2.0 in running. Now we want to look at today's runners, so we'll choose today, which is Thursday the 1st of November, and we want to look at horse declarations on this day. So we tick use horses declarations, which automatically ticks buy horse in the presentation tab. And if we then go to the in running tab, we want to look at the lowest in running prices, and we only want to see when Horses have run a low of less than or equal to 2.0 in running, which of course is evens. So we then run the system, and this will go through all the runners today and look at their past records when running less than 2.0 in running. And it starts off showing you alphabetically a list of all the horses running today, and we can see the first one has done it three times and not one on any of those occasions and if we sort by runners we can see the horses that have traded 2.0 or lower on the most occasions and Eagle Nebula is the top one with 21 times it's traded 2.0 or lower and won seven of these and if we double click on Eagle Nebula we can see these individual 21 runs and we can see the Betfair SP the horse was sent off at and the in running low that it traded down to when it's a dash is where it won which you can see here so if we take the first line we can see it finished 6 and went off at an industry SP of 8 to 1 a Betfair SP of 11.5 and went down as low as 2.0 in running which was 82.61% lower than the Betfair SP. And if we go back and just take another example, so we'll take the next one down, Elna Bright. And we can see this first run again. It came second, went off at 34 Betfair SP, and traded 1.02 in running. We'll now take a look at in running low percentages. So if we just go back to the in running tab and take out the in running low price and let's say we want to look at all horses who traded 75% or lower in running so we'd enter greater than or equal to 75 in the percentage lower than Betfair SP. Run this again. Of course we still were looking at only runners running today and it comes back in alphabetical order. And if we just take the first one to start with, Admiral Bloom, we can see the percentages lower it ran. And it lost all three but traded 97%, 76% and 79% lower in running than its Betfair SP. And if we go back to the full list and sort so we can see the ones that have done it most often. And Johnny Skull, we double click. And we can see all these percentages lower in running that are greater than 75% and there's lots of them for Johnny School. So the one thing that's missing from this report yes we know it ran 27 times at 75% less than Betfair SP and won 9 of these but how many runs did it have overall? Well this next section will show you this. X amount of times feature this session will show you how to turn on the X amount of times feature and explain the benefit of using the feature. So we're back in the system builder and we're on the same report that we just produced which was 
75% lower than Betfair SP report. The X amount of times feature can be turned on in the preferences. So, so if we click on options, preferences, and then on the first general tab, we can tick this box here, which says when presenting results by horse, jockey, trainer, dam or sire, then also report back career, runs, rides and number of runs and rides by the five race types, chase, hurdle, national flat, turf and all weather. And this is the X amount of times feature. So if we click OK, so we'll now run the system again and you can see that we have 12 new fields appear in the System Builder Results tab. So taking Johnny Skull as an example, it's traded 75% or lower than Betfair SP on 27 occasions, winning 9 of them and this is from 104 runs. So the all X column shows us the percentage of times this has occurred, which is 25.96%. Let's take another example, Ambrose Princess. 18 times it's traded 75% or lower in running, winning 7 from 38 runs. So this has happened 47% of the time. The rest of the columns returned we will explain in a more advanced video later in the training sessions. So let's run another report. So we'll reset the variables and go back to the date tab. And we'll choose today's date again and use horse declarations. And then in the in running tab, we'll choose percentage lower in running of greater or equal to 85%. Run the system again. And then we'll sort by a number of runners again. And we can see now Johnny Skull has appeared again. And 13 times it's traded 85% or lower in running. Winning 9 from 104 runs. Which is an occurrence of 12.5%. And we'll take one more example. We'll remove the percentages. We'll go back to looking at prices in running of less than or equal to 2. Run the system again. And we'll sort by runners again. And we can see we have Eagle Nebula at the top, which we looked at in the first part of this session. And that has 21 times traded less than 2.0 in running, winning 7 from 50 runs, which is an occurrence of 42%. Well that's it for module 2.7 training session and the end of two weeks of daily training videos which we hope you have enjoyed and more importantly learnt a great deal about Proform. We now move on to around three training videos a week for the next six weeks so later this week module 3.0 will become available to you.